Nearly a year ago, people in parts of Puerto Rico looked up to find fireballs racing through the sky. But this fireball was not a meteor or an asteroid that had entered Earth's atmosphere. These were satellites, SpaceX satellites, that were crashing from sky to the Earth. Why? They had been hit by a massive geomagnetic storm from the Sun that made them useless. They fell out of their orbit and eventually crashed and burned in the atmosphere. This geomagnetic storm was not the usual flare that emerged from the Sun. And as the solar cycle ramps up, chances of such angry eruptions are getting high. And we have little knowledge to predict their next origin. But soon, India will take the leap in better forecasting when these massive eruptions could occur and how Earth could save itself. My name is Shibu Tripathi and in this episode of The Universe This Week, we will explore a mission that could bring the Sun closer to us than ever before. But before we begin our journey to the Sun, let's talk about the past week and all that happened in the world of science. Two Earth-like worlds have been discovered outside solar system as we continue our search for Earth 2.0. The two planets are in the habitable zone of the star, a precise location that could allow water to form on the surface. And where there is water, well, there could be chances of life springing up. A tiny capsule the size of a coin put the entire Australian government on alert. This tiny capsule is radioactive, it's deadly, and it was lost. The capsule contains cesium-137, a radioactive element that could cause burns and cancer if exposed for a longer period of time. A massive search operation was launched in the 1400 km stretch of the road between a desert mine and Perth, where it was expected to have fallen off. It was thankfully found. The rare green comet has finally come closest to Earth, coming as close as 48 million kilometers to the planet. The comet made a stunning journey in the skies as stargazers captured this once in a 50,000 year traveler. Yes, it will not return for another 50,000 years. The comet was seen in Ladakh, parts of Bengal and several North Indian states of India. Did you get to watch it? Amid the growing craze over chat GPT, the Indian government has decided to scale up its investment in artificial intelligence. The 2023 budget saw the announcement of three centers of excellence to boost AI research in India. These centers will be established in Indian institutions and maybe we too could have our own version of chat GPT. A better version in fact. Now on to our big story. India is planning to launch a big mission to better understand the science which powers the sun. Scientists have named it Aditya L1. The mission is expected to be launched in the second quarter of 2023. This spacecraft will be launched 15 lakh kilometers away from Earth, from where it will observe the sun. This location is called Lagrange Point 1, hence L1 in Aditya. ISRO on Republic Day received a unique instrument that will be launched on Aditya L1. The instrument is called Visible Emission Line Coronagraph. And scientists definitely need to make a better name for this. The instrument will study the sun in new detail and look at the outer layer of the sun. The sun has two layers, while several space agencies like NASA and the European space agencies have studied the inner layers, exploring the corona, the outer layer of the sun is very difficult. The corona is specially covered by the bright disk of the sun and could only be seen during an eclipse. But not anymore. The 90 kg instrument on Aditya L1 will cover the solar disk to fade that bright light and see the corona for itself. The light from the corona will be captured by an instrument to be processed and stripped for better information. But you must be wondering why I'm talking about this corona. And no, coronavirus is not named after it. Remember the SpaceX satellites falling from space that we talked about earlier? They were hit by a geomagnetic storm that was powered by energy from the corona, this outer layer of the sun. Understanding this corona could help us better predict these eruptions. And the predictions could help us better prepare to face when they reach Earth. Since they are known to eject billions of tons of material towards the planet, racing at speeds of million kilometers per hour. Another mystery about the sun that could be solved is how the temperature of corona can reach about a million degrees while the sun's surface itself stays at 6000 degrees Celsius. It's hot, not that hot for the sun. This one thought gives astronomers sleepless nights. But Adit L1, when launched by India, could usher in a new era of not just science, but planetary defense from a force that we can never control. As the mission moves forward, we will bring you more details and insights into India's maiden attempt to explore the sun. That is all in this episode of Universe This Week. Please like, share and subscribe to us so that we can keep bringing you these exciting developments in the world of science. For daily coverage, follow me on Twitter. My ID is here. Keep watching India today.